smile. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said, let's go. Hi there, friend. It's Mike Hart Renee. Yay. And we're back. And we're back. Uh, we want to talk today about what, Michael? Well, we're talking about, <laughs> we were talking about people we knew who had had an affair. And we were thinking about, well, what <clears throat> can people who are married do to kind of head that off at the pass? Yeah. Like, keep your relationship spicy. So spicy that you're actually even kind of like having an affair with each other. Yeah. <laughs> that DMs. Okay. Oh, let's go. Let's take it. You go turn the that next. thing off and be careful. Oh, I know, I know. So, um, so we came up with a few ideas, some things that we try to do to kind of think, keep things exciting between us. Um, you may not know that I'm Renee, this is Mike, and we are newlyweds after being together 10 incredible years and getting married just a few months ago. Uh, we had a video to go viral mm -hmm. and thanks to you connecting with us and asking us to share more of our lives, share more of you know the spice between us, uh, the things that we go through in a day because we've got real lives. Michael is the you know a president and a major team player. Let's just put it like that. Um, I'm an entrepreneur and we have grown kids and grandkids and we're merging lives together but we both have been married prior to now and so now we're determined to do things right because we have failed and have learned from those failures so we try to keep things a little spicy <laughs> Okay, your turn. Well, I did. It was spicy. <laughs> Not very spicy, sorry. Yes, spicy. <laughs> well, we were just talking about some of the things that people can do. And, uh, well, just to, to not let your life just be boring, you know, just be the same old, in the same old rut. And, and it takes maybe a little being innovative. And, <laughs> oh. Yes, whatever, but... <laughs> But <laughs> being willing to take a little bit of a risk, you know. And, and fail and be embarrassed and try again. So plan, you know, plan something that uh, an exciting weekend for your you and your spouse and surprise them, you know, with, hey, I want you to get dressed and uh, pack a little bag. We're going to go somewhere and, and you've got all this planned out. You know, and, and I think part of doing something like that is that your spouse appreciates the effort that you put into it. And your spouse gets very excited. <laughs> yeah, it makes yeah. it kind of fun and, and not knowing what you're going to do, you know, mm -hmm. uh, them not knowing what you've got planned. And then the fact that you did that really is a, is a form of giving, you know, in a way that you maybe you're not used to giving. And uh, But I, I think us guys are less innovative about stuff like that. Women are more about events, birthdays, parties, and stuff like that. And so... Uh, I think if we try, it really, we get a lot of points. You yes, know? lots and lots and lots. Mm -hmm. um, but but it is calling into the relationship a sense of adventure, a sense of excitement, a sense of, oh my God, he has thought of me or she has thought of me and what I like and or wants to be with me. And so it's very, very exciting and can have lasting impact. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was remembering, reminiscing, and remembering when we did that. So, what's what's something else? Well, I, I think one thing you can do is like, uh, you know, think about it. Maybe when you, some people meet in a bar. I don't know how many people do, but some people that's yeah. the first time they met. So maybe you have your spouse. Uh, I think one thing, dress up. Yeah, I think one thing is we are always. We're going out and we're rushing to get dressed and we're watching our spouse get ready and pull the curlers out and put on the makeup and all that. <laughs> and really being able to go see uh, each other kind of at your best and not going through all that. And, 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 uh, kind of like you're going out. No, no, no. Not quite a date, but kind of like uh, a pickup. 
a pickup. You're going, you're meeting at the bar. Um, you don't know exactly how things, you know, how you will kind of connect and, and, and everything, but just kind of make it like you're meeting the first time. Yeah. 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 That's exciting. Come on, right here. Um, <laughs> um, I, I kind of like creative things. And so, um, I love the idea of um, getting together, you know, grabbing a bottle of wine, going to a park, getting out in nature, um, going to paint or uh, listen to music or doing something like that and just kind of um, not having, you know, the outcome already ironed out, but just kind of, you know, just uh, walking and, okay. Well, one, he's one, laughing about my hands. One, one, no, I'm not. But one, but I could. But one time, for example, Renee yeah. uh, called me and said, "I'm going I'm to come to pick you up for lunch," and she had packed a picnic lunch, and uh, she had a, brought a little blanket, and we went to a little park in downtown St. Petersburg, and, yeah. and she kind of extricated me from the office, and uh, I kidnapped him. Yeah. I called his assistant and said, "Block off two or three hours. I can't remember." And um, I called him and said, okay, I'll be there in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it was exciting for me. It was exciting for him. Um, I, I showed up, you know, looking all cute. And uh, we got in the car and drove. He didn't know where we were going. Pulled out the picnic basket. You know, the wine, the cheese, the grapes, the sandwich. Everything was done. The little salad or whatever. And we just sat there on the blanket and just talked underneath the sun and just laughed um it was it was a really nice moment mm -hmm. yeah so then what did i do for you the other day don't put me on the spot oh i know i know this answer okay so so the other day my michael said all right go sit down and he massaged And it was yum. It was super yum. Yeah. I just put my head back, closed my eyes, he massaged my feet, and let me tell you, this is a family channel, so all I'll say is, yeah, do that. Do that again. <laughs> um, but there are plenty of plenty of ways, plenty of things that we can do. And then one one Saturday I said, Okay, pack a little bag. And it was her birthday, but I had a little something planned. Yeah. And we went and spent the night somewhere, but I had a, uh, she did a paramotoring. Yes. Thing where she, we had a, and I actually saw this on TV. So we drove uh, about two and a half hours away yeah, from where we lived. Hours. And just had a little mini weekend. We went to dinner. Oh, and then we had breakfast. So out, exciting. And, uh, and. It, we had dinner in a very nice restaurant. Mm -hmm. And we, we were in a hotel that was right on the beach, and um, we were out looking at the moon, which I love. So it was it was really, really nice. Um, so that was really cool. But you can do something, you know, if you're for the budget-friendly um, ideas, uh, walking um, underneath the sun, moon gazing, um, stargazing, just, you know, um, walking in the park, flowers, you know, nature, that kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. it's plenty of things that you can do. You just have to be a little creative. <gasps> Something that, okay, I gotta tell it here and then you have to pretend like you didn't hear about it. Would be Play dress up, play dress up. You can just, you know, kind of like get a little outfit and, and play dress up. Yeah, yeah. And put on some music and play dress up. Okay, that's one idea. And then another idea is to have a sensory experience, right? Just come home and just right in your living room, you can just, um, well, you, it takes a little bit of planning, but you have to have something where you can kind of blindfold and there's something exciting to touch, there's something exciting to um, taste and feel like either a feather or something and something to hear and either you can play it like it's a guessing game 
or you can just be quiet and experience. Um, and you can take turns. I mean, it's just all kinds of things you can do. Well, but the main thing is, is, is to plan something yeah. and to do do something that's out of the out of the normal. Uh, don't just live in a rut your whole your whole life. Yeah. And don't let your relationship not have some excitement to it, some fun. Yeah, it should be fun, and and uh, and of course you got to get your spouse to go along with it. Sometimes your partner, yeah, you know, your partner, your might, love. Maybe you got to say, look, we're going to do something. I want you don't. And I tell you, you know, you need to be ready for this because they're like, no, no, there's a big game on tonight. What do you got to? I'm sorry. <laughs> what? It can't be the Georgia Alabama game because I ain't going. I don't care where it is. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, so you do have to be a little thoughtful with, you know, with like the World Series or the uh, Super uh, Bowl or something that night. That's maybe not the night to plan a little. No, we, can, we can't get so that we're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm in front of this TV. Well, no. Maybe twice a year there are a couple of events. <laughs> the uh, Masters, you know. No. Some of those things. Oh, no. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. I want you to think of something, get outside of your box, um, think of something exciting. And you know what, if you are the spouse or the partner or the component that is not the one who comes up with the ideas, then maybe you can stretch yourself. I'm saying, I'm gonna stretch myself and I'm going to come up with something and I'm going to you know, come up with some ideas. Now, the other person has to be a little bit, you know, accepting, accepting. Mm -hmm. exactly. And a little bit, you know, just kind of out there on the ledge and be okay with it and just have fun. It's the two of you together and, you know, it's going to be fun. So don't make it so hard for the person who's really trying something new and different. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Anyway, so just some ideas. Yeah, some ideas. But get out there and try it and, um, you know, fail and just laugh about it. And it goes in the, in the memory or the, the day that you're reminiscing about all the fun stuff. Remember that time, you know, mm -hmm. but um, it makes you guys closer because you've got some shared experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, this was fun. Let us know how things go. Okay. We're nosy. We want to know. And if you've got some ideas that we've not, we did not bring up, like wine tasting together or. Well, tell them like what? <laughs> well, well, if you have some other ideas, yeah. share them with us because we want to try. We want to do some new things and we want to go there. Like uh, going up in balloons. I like that. Yeah. So any, any, anything like that. We did do zip lining once. Yeah, yeah. we did. I was afraid. Before. I hadn't gone before. Michael came up with the idea and we did it. I said I was not going to do it the entire time, friend, mm -hmm. but I did it. And it was so fun. And I was so exhilarated. It gives you such a rush that you then take into other areas. <laughs> what are you saying? Um, <laughs> yes, we're grown. And we've had fun here today. We're Mike Hart Renee. And we want you to have a blissful, wonderful, fabulous relationship. And it starts with just, you know, getting out there and having fun together. All right. All right. We'll talk to you more later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>